Hi, this is Bill Lampton. I'm very privileged to have a conversation today with Bo Henderson, best-selling author, radio show host, and also a financial advisor. Bo and I met several years ago. I remember, Bo, that you called me because you wanted some help with your presentation skills. Right. You know, when I had this idea of this rich life philosophy, I knew that it needed to be leveraged. And that's why you've seen things like the radio show happen, the, the, the books happen, and speaking to groups. And that was really, really where we first started this relationship, Bill. And it's just been a great relationship and a fun relationship of, of how to better present this message to the world. Obviously, Bo, with what has happened with you in those very few years, you have presented the message very effectively in many ways. Let's talk about how do you account from going from where you were then to where you are now professionally? Sure. You know, and, and that's, that brings up a great point. And, and I know our philosophies, Bill, are so similar that you'll have some input here. But you're right. Five years ago, I was pretty much a solo entrepreneur capped by my hours in the day to meet with clients. And now from what you tell me, 22 Rich Life Advisors working with you. Yeah, we have 22 Rich Life Advisors helping people um, create their plan and relationship around money that helps them live their definition of a rich life. So we have, and, and then the, the radio show is nationally syndicated that helps promote the message. And goes to at least 20 other countries? Yeah, we're in 20 other countries, Central and South America. And this past week, I don't know if um, you heard our friend Carl Dillon, we had a couple of guests on and it was streaming in the UK. Terrific. So so what, what I love about some of these principles, principles are principles because they function and they're really timeless. And what would be the first one you would mention? Well, the first place, um, as far as to go where we've been to where we've go, gone and what I see that, that helps people, whether we're talking about business relationship, finances, <clears throat> excuse me, is leadership. And we've been very blessed. I've been very blessed to have um, John Maxwell um, as a mentor and have him share with our listeners on the Rich Life Show his, his teachings on leadership. One of the very well-known people who talks about leadership strategies. That's right. And, and, and by implementing that, it came along in my life at just the right time because I think a lot of us think of leadership as leading a big organization or a big company. And that might be part of it, but it can be, it can not just be, it could be your business, it could be your team, it could be in your community, it can be in your church, it can be in your relationship with your spouse. And moms out there will ask me, how am I a leader? How about with your kids? That's the biggest thing. We hope they are. Yeah, exactly. And even beyond that, if I'm a better leader of myself, that's probably the first place I should start anyway. Absolutely. So leadership, being a better leader and, um, and, and continuing what what Dr. Maxwell calls raising the lid. If I'm growing as a leader, then my effectiveness and what I can build and what I can grow will grow with that. And one thing, Bo, I follow you very closely on all the social media. And one thing I definitely feel about you is that you have a goal to grow personally and professionally every day. Well, that's right. If, if we're not growing, you know, it's great have 10 million, 100 million dollars in the bank, that would be wonderful. You could do some amazing, powerful things in the world with that. But if you're not growing personally and you're not fulfilled, um, that can be really empty and hollow. Life could be rather dull. So we start with leadership as the first factor in becoming an entrepreneur. What's the second? Well, the next is, uh, it's kind of a key to success that um, might be counterintuitive to us um, in our human nature, but it's becoming successful by first thinking about others and adding value to other people. So creating value for other people is really the second key I've seen to being successful. And, and that, again, is a new twist because so many people think, I've got to take care of me first and I've got to take care of me always. But that's not the pathway that you have found really works in becoming a successful entrepreneur and businessman. Well, and you think about it, this has been a theme for five years on the show. When we talk to somebody that's really successful, um, something that I noticed and I realized, if you've created enough value, which creates influence, and you have enough friends out there in the world, there's really not much you can't accomplish. And what's so interesting, Bo, and I've, I've studied this as well as you have and, and have come to realize that, oddly enough, 
the more value that you give away, the more people will then want to purchase other services and values that you have. Right. They'll follow you. That's right. So it's kind of one of those, it's almost counterintuitive, but once you learn that lesson, and we have a good friend, um, mutual friend Bob Bird, that that's kind of his core philosophy. The go-giver. That's right. Give value to be successful. And so create value. That, that's number two. Um, that's a common theme when I talk to people that, because I always pay attention, who's out there doing what I want to do or has done what I want to do successfully or who's the best at what they do? And these common themes, themes emerge. So, Leadership, values, service, what's the third? So the third, and the third I think is the most important, and this is how I've, uh, a mind shift for me has been to start my day for 10 minutes every day, and it's gratitude. And it's to be thankful. What is it that I'm thankful for today? Because regardless of what's going on, I promise you there's something you can be thankful for. I see you post that very often on Facebook. Oh, yeah. So the, the thing with gratitude is it, it shifts our mindset from starting the day about um, reacting, responding to um, what I feel like. And, and, and it really shifts it to um, being thankful. And it kind of shifts it to other people again. So, so we kind of get to and so often, Bo, we have the temptation to think, concentrate on what I don't have. But your approach, which you encourage the rest of us to have, is don't think about what you don't have. Be very grateful with the blessings that you do enjoy. That's right. Be thankful for what you have a little or a lot, because if you're thankful and you're a steward of what you have, then you are prepared to have more. So there's a little secret there. And, and it's really funny, some ways, Bill, I've found to even find a penny on the ground what, I, what I've what I've started doing whether it's a penny or it's a three dollar check that from a phone contract that we've closed out or whatever's happened thank you God for this symbol of unlimited abundance hey you know it might not be might not be hundreds of dollars thousands of dollars but it's a symbol that there's there's um, there's something to be thankful for always and no matter how hard we work in life and no matter how much we feel we have earned something, and yes, we have, but so much of the good things in life are given to us. That's right. That's right. And it's, um, I think just having that attitude, attitude of gratitude, that's a great way to put it. Um, it puts you in a receptive state, one, to add value, and two, to receive more and be, become more successful. And just the way you approach the world and you interact with people when you have that gratitude, um, it, it's amazing to me the response and the results you get uh, based on how you show up. So that's it, leadership. If I can lead myself better, if I'm starting every day, who is it out there that I can give value to today? And then what is it that I have to be thankful for? I spend 10 minutes every morning. Um, thank you, God. I, I think of the people I'm going to be meeting with. And here's, here's the extra credit. I've even learned to be thankful for the things that aren't going good and that aren't great and that are kind of the pains and the you-know-what. Uh, because therein lies the lessons I need to move forward. I've had so many of those lessons. I should I should be brilliant, and I suppose you feel the same way. That's right. Yes, that, that that's a big joke. Is is people say um, uh, learning lessons make you a wise man? I should be pretty dang smart. Absolutely. Watch out, Einstein. <laughs> Bo Henderson, thanks so much for sharing these ideas with us today about how you moved from a beginning business person with to an with an idea to an outstanding successful leader who helps other people succeed in life great to talk with you appreciate it bill always have a blast and always just love sharing the things that are adding value to my life and um, the people that it adds value to and the wonderful thing is bo henderson will continue to talk with me on occasion and we'll share our conversations with you thank you very much for being with us and hearing from bo henderson the rich life man